Hello and welcome back to Enigmatica 2. As you've seen, in this episode I went to the nether. In the previous episode I tried to not go there and you can come quite far without going to the nether but it's so much easier to just do it. So I've upgraded my armor so I, well, I went there and then I went back and then I upgraded it and, and did it a few times. Uh, and I collected lots of netherrack. Now, Crucible and Magmatic Dynamo, you've seen this before. Nothing strange about this. It's just connected and I upgraded it and I augmented it with this pyroconvective loop. Now, this loop will just make it faster. It has a maximum power of 2200. 50 RF per tick. So, and uh, while I was doing this, I only had one dynamo, and that turned out to be. Uh, and in addition to that, this was empty. So I was still trying to fill the the system, and when I had this augment inserted, it consumed all my RF, but didn't complete the action, so to say. So I had to remove it for some time, and then now when it's when it's filled up, I can have it here again and now it will run. Now I will have time to, to regain all this, uh, this power that it used. Uh, because it will cost like 60k uh, RF to produce one bucket. And it will produce 120 I think. So actually I could use a few more magmatic dynamos. The sad part is magmatic dynamo that requires quite a lot of invar. Uh, so an invar, as you know, you're made from nickel. I have some, not too much. 36, so it should be enough for... I, I should be able to build a few more dynamos uh, and have them all run from one crucible, no problems. And then as a next step, I could always use... If we go into the quests, one second, thermal expansion to make these uh, boiler conversion and turbine conversion uh, for the magmatic to produce steam and then for the steam to, to use the steam. And that will also boost the, uh, the RF output. So this is a very simple setup. I made a dedicated video on it. And I'll try to remember to link to it in the description. But this will give me some power at least. This will produce 40 and this 40 and this will use up whatever it takes. So as long as I'm not using more than yeah, more than 40 or 80, I, I don't know, for, for a longer period of time, then uh, this should work just fine and keep up. But a few more of these wouldn't hurt. So I'll try to make that happen, perhaps not for the next episode, but I'll try to prepare for it. And then, oops, and then uh, probably move it down here just fill it with netherrack and then have the power like put put to the side. I have these, for, I built this one, Numismatic, because in one of the quest rewards I got some coins. If I can find them, yeah this one. Astral Star Metal coin. And the only thing you use them for is for power, I think. So that's... Um, like an additional power source. Um, so power, somewhat stable. I haven't built many more machines. We have the infuser, another crucible. Um, yeah, not too much uh, going on in here except for the power. But that's a good thing because I've fo been focusing on a lot of other things. As you can see, my sword is now manual in. Let's go in here and remove this one. So from the cobalt and ardite that I gathered, this is now a writable. So it's paper and it's a wooden handle and then the manulum blade. And I have made it the sharpest test and that means that I have 360 quarts to it. It will give a nice 18.66 damage so I can one shot many mobs but not all and uh, uh, I would like to do more but I don't think I can do more with uh, 
with quartz. So I need to do something else to make it more dangerous. Or just another type of weapon. So that's about that. Then nothing else changed here. I think this is... I upgraded this with cobalt. The momentum. So this is slightly faster. I changed the copper plate into a cobalt plate. So it's still a... Um, a cobblestone core, which means I can repair this with stone. For the time being, I think that's pretty convenient. I can't mine too much uh, at the time, but I will get some stuff at least. And then, and it's pretty fast, I would say. Not the fastest, but pretty much. And I think it will be much faster if I replace the, the stone part with cobalt as well. Then that will make a big difference. In addition to uh, weapon upgrade, I did the armor upgrades. So now let's take a look here in the this one. So I, I did some experiments uh, and uh, I didn't plan it too, too well. Uh, so now I have Alamite, that's a defense 20 uh, for, the, for the core. And then I have Cobalt and Skeletal add-ons and uh, seems to be a cheap and uh, pretty good pretty good combination all these three three are the same and then on the chest plate i tried with rubies just because i wanted to try it i'll probably exchange it because i had a few i wanted to try it and it's the same defense and it had some other when with the reduce hp of all mobs in a certain range uh, could be a good thing because i'm getting some withering effects every now and then from some old mobs. So that means I'm better prepared for for fighting, for mining, and during one of my uh, actually one of my rabbit hunts. I'm out chasing rabbits. I'll get back to that in a second. I got found the staff of traveling in a chest. So that means I can shift right click and just do like this. And then with these anchors that I haven't crafted yet iron, conduit and then pulsating crystal which is a diamond with some iron nuggets and I think that's let's see how do we get pulsating iron? Hmm. iron and ender right so I don't have too many pearls so, yeah, I'll probably craft a few anchors every, so I can fill the base and uh, go here from a distance. I don't know the range, but I think it's a neat tool that will come well in use. Found lots of new stuff. Everything, uh, I don't know what everything is for. Uh, some of these upgrades I have seen before, but I'm not sure. The moving wand. Is it just any block? I don't know. This illumination wand. I tried it. Uh, it's up here in the hallway, over there. It didn't look too good. Um, antidote and some stuff. And the final part that I crafted was the experience rod. Uh, the experience rod, I filled it. 20 buckets was only like 4 levels. If I empty it, yeah, 44 to... 39 so five levels and of course these are big levels but 20 buckets is not yeah i will need lots of portable tanks or upgrade them a lot uh, so we'll see i would like to find a different way to store them uh, perhaps in a solid form that would be more convenient for just store them in the in the system instead because I have 39 levels and I had 50 before that I lost because of a bad fight. But now I have better armor, lots of, uh, lots of armor, better weapon. So uh, I can actually survive in the nether and the deep dark. Alright, I should just mention that the rabbits, right. This one. I'm trying to complete this since I got the gas tear from... Uh, from my nether visit, I just need leaping, which is a rabbit's foot. 
and water breathing, which is a puffy fish. So the rabbit, I need to hunt them down and running around in the desert and I killed lots of them. Oh! What's that? Was that the blitz? Then that scared me a lot. Ooh! Niter. Okay, thanks for that. Why are you here? Um, where was I? <laughs> uh, water trap. Right. Oh, we got the puffer fish. Cool. That means that we can do... We have awkward, puffer fish. So then just the rabbit's foot and then I'm done with this, uh, this task. And I will pick the guest here. I will prefer to have them because they are quite hard to get. Mm. One more thing before we go. Keep your nutrition levels uh, well balanced. Because I had fruits done at, like I have protein here and I got, was running around with the mining fatigue all the time. So now I need to switch to protein and milk. I'm trying. Is there another way to get milk? Can we? What am I at right now? 48. 50. So two percent up. But that I can handle. That's not a problem. The meat, I need to put up some better farm. This is, <laughs> this is just stupid. But uh, it is, has given me the white, or the pink slime that I had needed. So I have a few in stock. I will get a few more if I need to. I have three more. So we're good for now, but I will need more, of course. So a better farm. But then we have this deep dark portal that I mentioned. <clears throat> and in this place you need armor, you need weapons and perhaps perhaps a good way to mine more safely. So when I got here I didn't remember if it was to the side or upwards but then I checked the Y level over here and of course you need to go down. And I have been digging. Good thing I have a rather fast hammer but it still takes a lot of time to build this and uh, and place the stairs. So going down here, we have a very dark, dark place. And down here on the ground, I should probably get myself. Oops. I don't know what I need. Should you? Craft and or build uh, strip mines below the surface. Is that the safest way to mine here? Because this is supposed to be a rich place when it comes to resources, right? When it comes to goo. These are pretty nasty. Yeah, I think it took like five hearts. So they are fast, they hit hard, dangerous place. I'll try to... I don't need to climb more. I'll find a good way to mine here. But for now, I think that's pretty much what we had time for in this episode. I've done a lot of work on this. Uh, not recorded it all, of course. But some more important steps forward. That's very good. So power, it's getting stable. So for next episode, I will try to do more of exploring. We have, um, I have three of the plates from Applied Logistics. And once I have all four, then I can really start to plan out and, and build some, for, for, some form of, of ME system. Ow. Mm -hmm. like that. Oh well. So, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'll See you next time where I have, I hope we're getting A2. I hope A2. Because it's one of my favorite mods, as you know. Alright, 
great. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.